Hey, welcome to this video. My name is Pindeni. I would like to first of all congratulate you on reaching 2024 and wishing you a happy new year. Secondly, I would like to thank the Amri 3D community for the invitation for me to post my tutorials on this platform. I love teaching and I love sharing information. So thank you very much, Amri 3D community. To those who are going to find my content worthy and useful, I would like to invite you to press the link in the description below and go and check out the Please Try This channel. That is my channel. You can go there and show me some love by subscribing and liking and sharing my content. I talk about the indie game industry and I also give tips on the game entertainment industry. I also have my tutorials of my own there. So go to the Please Try This channel by pressing the link in the description below and show me some love there. Here on the Amri 3D community channel, I'll be posting there and there. But on the Please Try This channel, I'll be posting regularly. You have me 24-7. So I'm posting on this platform for the first time. I was thinking on what to go with since we are just meeting. So I decided to go with a tic-tac-toe game. I wanted something simple, small and fun, something like that. So I decided to go with a tic-tac-toe tutorial. It's not a good project per se, but the lessons in that game are helpful. We are going to talk about uh, spanning objects. We are going to talk about grid-based games. We are also going to talk about game AI. To those who want to know what is game AI, I recommend you watch this tutorial because we are going to make the game AI of the tic-tac-toe so that uh, we start with a small game and then we can move to more complicated projects. Yes, we are going to make simulators. We are going to make car racing games. The future is bright. So let's do this. I'm going to start off on the cube scene and I'm assuming you've already installed your Blender and your Amri 3D SDK. I'm also assuming you've set up your environment for scripting. If you're having challenges, there are links in the description below. I've managed to cover those tutorials while it's making my first Amri 3D bullet hell indie game. So there are links there. They will direct you to the Please Try This channel and you can check out to install Blender and the Amri SDK. So first of all, we need to save our project since Amri does not compile projects which are not saved. So let's do this. File, save. I've already created a folder called Tic-Tac-Toe. So I'm going to enter that folder and write here, Tic-Tac-Toe. And then I'm going to save my blend file. So now what's next? Uh, let me turn on my screencast key so that you see every key that I press right here on the corner here. So that you don't miss any key I press. Now let's press A to select everything in the scene. And let's press X to delete and left click. And then let's go 7, number page 7, so that we go in the top orthographic view. So the tic-tac-toe game is a grid-based system. So we are going to use these grids here provided by the Blender uh, software. And you can see green is the y-axis and here is the key here. Red is the x-axis. Where this cursor is, is the origin and it has coordinates 0, 0, 0 for the x, y and z coordinates. So what I'm going to do is we are going to shift A so that we add the cells of the tic-tac-toe game. There are 9 by the way. And then we are going to go on mesh and then we are going to go plane like so. So we are creating a new plane. What we are going to do now is to scale this plane a little. So let's press S and scale it to 0 0.95. This is very important because we want to create some lines in between. That's why we have scaled it a little. Let's press Z and let's go into material preview so that we can see the material. What we want to do is to add material to this plane. So let's go on material and then let's go on new and then let's say this material is cell. Right? You can choose a color of your choice. Uh, I'm, I'm clicking here on base color. I'm going to go on with a light blue. So I'm just going to go with a light blue like so. You can choose a color of your choice. Uh, in the final implementation of the game, we are going to ask the player to choose their own color which they want. So lovely. 
Now, what we are going to do now is we are now going to add the nine cells. So we are going to shift D to duplicate GX2. And then we do the same shift D to duplicate GX2. Now we have the three bottom cells. Now we are going to shift left click each of these so that we select all of them. And then we are going to shift D GY2 like so. Shift D GY2. And as you can see here, we now have the grid system of the tic-tac-toe game. What we want to do here is we don't want dark lines in here. We want to have the opportunity to choose a color for our choice. So what we will do is we'll first shift left click all these cells here. We shift left click all of them. And then we're going to move them down. GZ minus 0 0.5 so that they go down a little. Uh, it doesn't matter though because our game will be seen as 2D. But uh, we just want things to be aligned properly. Now let's shift A and add another plane. Let's press number 37 to go into the top of the graphic so that we align it. And then let's scale by 3 this plane. So S3. Let's GX it uh, so that we move it along the X axis by 2. And let's GY it by 2 again like so. So that it sort of like overlaps the grid system. Now let's bring it down by pressing GZ minus 1 like so. And then as you can see from the top of the graphic, it now seems as if there are lines there. That's what we want to create. Now what we are going to do now is we want to add a custom color. So let's go new so that we add color to this plane. And let's call it plane so that we know it's material for the plane. And then uh, the color, you can choose the one you want. I'm going to go with the dark bluish, like so. So there is our grid system for our tic-tac-toe game. Uh, what we are going to do now is we need to name these cells and give them a name so that when we are scripting, we know which cell has been clicked by the player. Uh, so let's go. If we select this one, let this one be A. So I'm coming here and then I'm adding A changing the names from plane 007 and then I'm adding B and this one will be our C and then this one will be our D very essential when we are scripting and this one will be our E this one will be our F and this one we're going to call it G and this one we're going to call it H and this one we are going to call it I. This one will now remain just plain because it's the background plain like so. So I'm using letters of the alphabet. You can use numerical if you want, maybe one, two, three. Now we are about to add a camera because we need a camera in our scene. So let's say shift A and let's add a camera like so. Let's go number paid. Now while selecting the camera, let's press Alt R so that we clear all rotation on the camera gx2 gy2 like so so that it goes at the center uh what i'm going to do now is move it up a little gz5 and now uh let's go and press number page zero so that we go into the camera view we want to find the right view for the user so this camera selected we're going to go in camera settings and this is going to be orthographic so that it be 2d like and then there's this parameter here, which is 6. We are going to drag it up a little so that we find the right view. Now we need to add some light to our game. So I'm going to shift A, and then we're going to add a sun lamp. This is just so that it comes out well, and we can uh, put it up a little by GZ5, like so. Now uh, I think our tic-tac-toe grid system is done, and we are going to end this video here so that uh, we can continue with other parts. Let's allow the Amri 3D game engine to render this and see how the outcome will be. So I'm going to go on play and then I'm going to find the Amri player. I'm going to clean first the project and play. Here we are. There is our tic-tac-toe grid system and you can see we have the nine cells and the grid lines. So in the next video, we are going to add mouse sensitivity to these meshes here, the A, B, C, Ds. So that uh, since the tic-tac-toe game is played by clicking the mouse, we need to add mouse sensitivity. That's what we're going to be doing in the next video. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And also check out the Please Try This channel for more of me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.